I'm going to make a frog belt buckle with uh, rub over garnets in all of the uh, warts on the frog. So this is this buckle is about three mil thick. The wax is about three mil thick. So the first thing we're going to do is drill through each one of the spots in the wax where we're going to set a stone. Now I'm not going to set the stones in this and then cast them. It, it's a little bit dodgy to do that unless you have a really good opening in the back so that the plaster touches both the culet and the table. Uh, but I, what I want is just a one millimeter opening in the back. So <clears throat> one millimeter bit and like I say, at each spot where there's going to be a stone, we'll drill through. Yeah, including the eyes. So clean all of the little wax bits away. Then I'm going to use two millimeter stones for this. So what I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm going to take a two millimeter round burr and in each one of those holes. I'm just going to go to the wide part of the burr. And I'll take this out and show you. So just there. So just slightly past the wide part of the burr. Now the wax will shrink when we cast it so the holes don't have to be perfect. So tidy, tidy it all up. Uh, put it on a base, invest it, cast it, or send it off to your caster. When you get it back <coughs> what you'll have is a nice shiny piece with your holes already drilled, then you're going to take this same round burr and go back in each one of those holes and make sure that it is just past the wide part of the burr. Then we're going to take a two millimeter, so all of these are two millimeter with the exception of the one millimeter hole. We're going to take a two millimeter stone setting burr and that's just so that we can tidy up the bottom so that the stone sits nice and snug on the base. So about that deep. And then we're going to uh, set our stones. So, uh, so I've already got the seats burred out for this so I'll show you a stone setting. I'll, I'll zoom in. Now pick up your stone with a piece of wax, place it in the hole. Make sure that you can see the edge of the metal on the inside. So you should be able to see a little ring of metal right there above the girdle. If you can see that and your stone sitting level, you'll be able to sit this no problem sit, set. Now, what I usually do is I usually take a bezel rocker and I'll just give it a little push at each side just to pull a little bit of metal over. And then I take my burnisher and I just start working around the edge of the stone. So we want to pull the metal right down over the stone. Don't drag your burnisher across because the stone is hard enough that it'll mark the burnisher. So we're just rubbing the setting down onto the stone. You can probably hear a little click as I'm going from the edge of the metal to the stone. And then when you get your stone set, it'll look like this. So 
If this were an absolutely flat surface, I would say this was a gypsy setting. But really, it's more like a bezel setting with the fact that they're all raised. Uh, the good thing is, is there's plenty of metal to rub over the stone. Now, as, as you drop your stones in, if you get one that isn't level, you can take your one millimeter bit, come through from the back, push the stone, then make sure it's level. And that's the advantage of drilling all the way through. Okay, so the stones are in. And we take, the step was put the stone in, go around the outside with your bezel rocker, burnish afterwards with your regular burnisher. <clears throat> and now at each point I'm going to really pay attention and use my point burnisher uh, to just smooth the edge of the metal where it goes down over the stone and I'll show you. So you can see that shiny bit right there while well, I'm just pushing with the edge of my point burnisher and I, it's just to make sure that the metal is down on the stone and it's nice and smooth and pretty and when we burnish it it actually work hardens it so it makes sure that the metal holds the stone in. So that's our uh, critter and you may wonder why garnets? Well, because it's my birthstone. Ciao.